Feel deadlocked as to what to do with your hardly used PSP? Feel like going commando with the new adventure? Hoping Sony will pull something out of its arsenal. Then Ratchet and Clank size matters for the PlayStation Portable might be the game for you. Well, Ratchet and Clank have uh, wrapped up their last adventure in Deadlock and they've decided to go on vacation. While they're on vacation, a little girl comes up to them and wants to do a school report on heroes and take some pictures of them. Ratchet agrees to do this and shortly into doing this, she's kidnapped. They kind of try to find out why she's kidnapped and in the process of looking for her, discover that things are not as they seem. All right, let's get this over with. Where are we going? Well... I'd go that way, but well, that's just me. Oh, Quark. Not exactly breaking new literary ground there, but you don't play Ratchet and Clank because you love the story. You play it for the variety of and sheer massive amounts of firepower. And once again, you are presented with some new and rather unique weapon. The acid bomb is a bomb that Ratchet throws out towards his enemies. It detonates over them, hurting them with the explosion, and then it leaves an acid pool behind that damages anyone who runs through it. The bee mine is similar in some ways to the mini turrets from the last game. You throw out a hive of bees, essentially, that are circling around, and anything that comes near it, the bees zoom in on them and, and target them. The laser tracer, I think, is one of our more impressive weapons when you see him burning his name into walls. Of course, players can't survive on the weapons alone, and the developers at High Impact had devised a new armor system for Ratchet. Instead of buying full sets of armor this time, you can collect pieces of armor. These pieces of armor form sets, and when you collect a set, that unlocks additional powers for you. So you might get the wildfire armor set, and then your wrench is now a burning wrench. You can set enemies on fire and leave fiery footprints behind you. You can take sets that you've found throughout the game or individual pieces, mix and match them, and see what you come up with, and certainly some of them will unlock secret abilities. Beyond the single-player experience, Size Matters promises robust multiplayer modes, including Capture the Flag, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, and a brand new objective-based mode called Iron Lombax. Each level has its own unique Iron Lombax. On one level, you could be running around with a homing beacon strapped to your back and 50 hover mines chasing you across the level as you run them into the enemy base and try to destroy it. On another, it could involve running around with the suck can and sucking up Martian cows and firing them into a hamburger converter. Clank! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? I am trailing Ratchet and Clank to see what they are doing, so I can join in on their next adventure. But the, but the development team hasn't stopped there. They've also included another multiplayer feature called Nemesis Mode. If a certain individual has killed you or defeated you more than anybody else on the server, it will keep track of that person. And when you see them in game, you'll now see devil horns above their head, and you can also send that person special invite so that you can work out any kind of grudge match you have between each other. Ultimately, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters looks to be an excellent addition to the PSP lineup. Look for it in stores now. Catch an all-new X-Play weeknights at 8, only on G4.